Hey foodies, we're gonna make a cheesecake. A yummy, ooey, gooey cheesecake. And I'm looking forward to making this with you. So let's start by looking at the recipe. Now you can see that there's two parts to the recipe. One is the crust, which we're gonna do first, and we're gonna get that in the oven. And while that's in the oven, just to, to toast up a bit, we're gonna mix up the cream cheese filling. So we want to start by grinding up some cookies. I've got some leftover molasses cookies that need to be ground up, but you can use a gluten-free graham cracker, you can use shortbread, you can use almost any kind of cookie you want because it's just the base. Now you only need a cup and a half of cookies, so I'm going to save the rest for, for me to enjoy. Okay, so I've got a bowl here. Let's see if I can get a cup and a half of cookies. Oh yeah, that'll be a cup and a half. And we want to mix in our sugar and our butter. That looks good already. You can see it's just when you squeeze it, 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 it forms a ball and that tells you that it's, it's mixed and it's got just enough liquid in it. Okay, so I'm going to take a springform pan here and this is a, a 10 inch pan and I've lined the bottom with parchment paper and I've greased the inside of it. And now I'm just going to spread this out evenly along the bottom. And I'm going to lightly tap down the whole thing and slowly press it down harder and harder and harder. And the reason why you start lightly at the beginning is just that you're not spreading the, the cookie crumb out. Okay, so that's going to go in the oven for 10 minutes at 325 degrees. So I've got the base in the oven baking for 10 minutes and we're going to start making the, che the cream cheese filling. So we want to take three cream cheese blocks there we go and I'm going to beat these with the sugar. and the yogurt. And I'm using yogurt instead of sour cream because I want it just, just a tiny bit healthier. Okay, so you want to constantly be scraping the sides down. Make sure you get all that goodness. Get all the way down. Okay. So I'm going to switch from my paddle to my whisk attachment. Just getting off all that cream cheese. There we go. Mm, look at that. Okay. And while that's missing its attachment, I'm just going to scrape down the walls, it makes it a little easier. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to put it up to a medium speed and I'm going to mix in the flour while it's on. So now I'm going to crack in one egg and I'm going to crack them one at a time in the bowl just to make sure I don't get any shells in there. So one egg in. And 
and I'm gonna scrape the walls in between each time I add my egg. And I'll put in the second egg. And now the third egg. Each time I'm whisking this up, I'm whisking it for, I'm gonna say 60 to 90 seconds for each egg that goes in. So finally, I'm gonna put in my vanilla and I wanna make this a little extra special and I've got some vanilla seed from inside of a bean that I, that I had and I'm gonna put that in as well because I want the vanilla just to really shine. So instead of putting in vanilla, you could put in lemon rind, you could put in orange zest, you could put in and any number of things. You could do a chocolate swirl at the end and just really bring out that, that flavor. So we're doing vanilla and I'm excited to try vanilla. So that cream cheese filling is ready and it looks wonderful. So I'm just going to, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera or not, but you can see little black flecks all through it. And that's the vanilla bean. And so the flavor is just gonna be magnificent. Like it, it smells really good so far. And I think with that molasses cookie, it's just gonna be a really nice combination of flavors. So I'm gonna set that aside until my uh, cookie crumb is ready. Okay, so the cheesecake filling looks amazing. I've got my base, my cookie crumb base, and it's cooled. Now I'm gonna pour this all into the pan. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, the little flecks of vanilla are just so pretty to look at. There we go. And I'm just going to get that to settle a little bit. So I'm going to put this on top of another cookie sheet just in case there's any spillage and it helps me lift things out a little easier. And this is going into the oven at 275 for 50 to 55 minutes or until the center is just a little jiggly but the outside edge is perfect. And then I'm gonna shut the oven off and just let it cool until it's cool. Look at this cheesecake, it looks wonderful. So it's finished in the oven, I shut it off, I open the door, I just let it cool, and then I let it cool for about an hour, and then I pulled it out and I let it cool completely for four hours. So now I'm gonna run my knife around the edge, just to cut the edge, separate it from the, uh, the wall. Okay, and now the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. It came right out. Looks wonderful. Nice, nice crust. Look at that edge. It looks wonderful. So now I'm going to take a slice. We're going to see what it looks like. So every time you take a slice, you want to wipe it off with a clean cloth so that you don't get anything built up on it. There we go. So let's, let's get a lifter. Wonderful. Oh, it's just beautiful. 
and it smells really nice too. Now, if you want to have something on top of it, you can. If you don't, that's fine too. You can do a little chocolate drizzle on top. You can also do what I'm going to do today and put a little bit of uh, berry compote or a preserve or jam, and I'm putting a elderberry conserve on top. So I'm just going to take a spoon of this and drizzle this a little on top. Oh, that looks absolutely delightful. I mean, it looks wonderful. So let's take a bite. It's a very rich cake, but it's really nice to try. I can't wait for you to try this. And let me know if you've tried it in the description below. And what's your favorite topping for a cheesecake? Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon.